concept of resistance to fire. We go ahead and kill these lights. This one as old as history itself. As far back as the ancient Greek tragedy with Medea, references are made to holding a bar of red hot iron in one's hands in order to prove innocence or sincerity. The first written account of a fire eater, however, occurs in 1607 when Sir Henry Wotton wrote of an English sailor who could eat fire as though it were in a cannon. With that in mind, I'm going to show you the simplest method to extinguish a torch with one's mouth. <laughs> it is more impressive. It looks more like this. Here we go. Here we go. Now, the first commercially successful fire eating act went on tour during the 1680s. It was performed by a Frenchman who was renowned not only for his ability to swallow flame, but for the apparent affinity he would display for it. In fact, people claim that his teeth and gums were so callous. You can actually hold burning torches between them, just like so. At which point his audience says, went freaking nuts, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and now, by the 1800s, we come to a time that some people call the golden age of fire eaters. This is a time when performers by the names of Yamadeva, Ching Ling Fu, or Xavier Chabert, the Fire King, these individuals shifted the focus of fire eating away from the tolerance of the heat and the flame, and instead they moved it towards the artistry and skill with which one manipulated. Here we go. Now by the 1920s, the popularity of fire eating had taken a nosedive. In fact, Perry Houdini, of all people, called fire eating an arts over which oblivion threatens to stretch her darkening wings. This is when fire eaters were kicked out of the theaters and into the streets, where in order to draw bigger crowds, they began to perform increasingly dangerous stunts, including the tongue transfer. Or perhaps eating twice the flame at once. That's a lot of fire. <laughs> Here we go. This one's called the human camp. There we go. <laughs> yes, you guys want to go on? We don't care. You could have done with those sticks. <laughs> <Get us. laughs> a while ago, I wrote a book on fire eating, and when I did, I discovered a combination of feats that's become my favorite thing to show people. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> to give you an idea of how the state 